Okay, so far in my videos, we spent a lot of time really focusing on this operation, right? The most fundamental operation at the heart of what mathematics is, um, how we deal with numbers, right? Continuing to count. Numbers are all about counting or measuring once we get past whole numbers. Um, so when we're measuring multiple things, we're moving and then continuing to move, right? Addition means continue to move a specified amount in a specified direction. And so far that direction is always positive, right? So when we say five plus three, we're moving forward five. So from zero to five, and then we move And then six, seven, eight, we end up at eight, right? But forwards isn't the only possible direction. So five plus three could be replaced with something like five plus negative three. And that's where we start with five, same five we had over here. But then that three, this dash in front of it is now specifying the reverse direction, right? So five plus negative three, I'm continuing to move, right? That's what the plus sign there tells me. A specified amount, that amount is three. That's the same distance as this one. But this dash says the direction is now backwards. So instead of going six, seven, eight, I'm going four, three, two. Right. I'm going backwards instead of forwards. But in a lot of instances, uh, having to deal with these extra symbols here is kind of a pain in the butt, right? And growing up, we tend not to see these numbers every day. And so we, instead of indicating this direction for addition using positive and negative signs, we actually invent a whole new operation called subtraction. Subtract is much more complicated than addition. It actually gets three definitions, right? Well, its most basic one is basically a change of our definition for addition, right? Subtraction also means continue to move a specified amount, but instead of just saying move a specified amount in the specified direction, we're actually going to move a specified amount in the reverse of a specified direction. And so that's where instead of saying five plus negative three, where I'm saying this three is going backwards, I can instead write five minus three, where I have a five and a three, both positive numbers, but instead of moving forward three, I'm moving the reverse direction of three. I'm moving that three and I'm taking it and reversing it. Let's see if I can do this here. Uh, this is gonna take too long to, here you go, flip. But uh, now it's going in the reverse. But I'm not starting at eight. No, I'm starting where I left off at the five. And now I've reversed that three by putting the subtraction sign in front of it. Right? That's what we mean by counting down, right? Instead of counting forwards with addition, I'm counting backwards with subtraction. And when we subtract a negative, that's reversing the backwards to be forwards, where you're taking this backward sign, flip that going forwards. But we'll talk about negative numbers and positive numbers later on. So let me undo those two flips so we don't get too confused here. Right. So 
It's counting the reverse of a specified direction. Well, that means one common use of subtraction is instead of saying five minus three, now we're at some brand new number, is I'll actually start with the eight. If five plus three equals eight, then I can start with the eight, back up three, and that's going to get me back to where I started before, which is five. And that's where we get into our second definition of subtraction as the inverse operation to addition. Uh, inverse is a, a very jargony word for, for math. It, it means you're going to undo it, right? So subtraction is undoing that addition. You started at five and I added. From that new number, I subtract. That gets me back to five. So long as I'm subtracting and adding the same amount here, right? We'll talk about other pairs of inverse operations. But addition and subtraction make an inverse pair. They're operations of uh, inverse operations of each other or inverse operations to each other. Okay. Um, the third definition of subtraction makes more sense once we talk about what these things are called. All right, so I'll actually go to a new page here. Um, if I say A minus B equals C, these get special names, the subterhand and the minuend. Uh, it's not important to me that, that you remember those, uh, but this were, this one, uh, it is important that you remember, right? And that's a much easier word to remember. That's the difference. Once we're comfortable with signed numbers, we're going to stop talking about subtraction and really talk about these as terms, right? We're gonna focus on addition moving forward in algebra. So you don't need to talk, worry about add ends and subterhands and minuends. Uh, things that are added or subtracted are terms because subtraction is really addition, just reversing the direction of that second thing, right? But the outcome of that is not giving us a new Sum, really, I'm not saying the sum of five and three is two. I'm saying the difference of five and three is two. And that um, use of the word difference is not based on these definitions. Using difference for the outcome of subtraction is because of the third definition of subtraction, which is the distance between two points on the number one. So let's look at an example for that, right? If I see, let's change color. If I see five minus three, one way to understand that is to start at zero, count forward one, two, three, four, five, and then count backwards four, three, two, and I'm gonna end up at two. That's the moving forwards and then moving backwards to get to my end result, the point is two. But I can also think about subtraction as the difference of five and three. I'm looking at five on a number line, no movement, just starting at this mile marker five, looking at this point on the number line, mile marker three, say, well, how far apart are these two things? What's the difference of three and five, or the difference of five and three? Right? And in our everyday language, those two sentences are equivalent, right? What's the difference in age between Professor Newman and his brother, or between Mr. Christ and his brother means the same thing, right? For, if you don't know yet, uh, my brother's name is Christ, right? When we're talking about difference, 
in everyday language we technically mean the absolute value of the difference, but uh, that's going to be a little more complicated. For now, we're saying the distance between these two. So when I say five minus three, how far do I have to go to get from five to three? Well, that distance is two. So in that sense, the distance between uh, or maybe a little more uh, particularly here, the distance from five to three is two. Therefore, so I'll therefore simple again. Therefore, the difference of five and three is two, right? That's another way to interpret this statement of five minus three equals two. Right? So you can think of it as reversing direction, the inverse operation of, of addition here, or we can think of it as how far apart two things are. And as we're dealing with bigger numbers, sometimes this distance version is a lot easier. If I'm doing uh, 52, minus three, I don't wanna to have to figure out how far apart 52 and three are. I just wanna start at 52, and go 51, 50, 49. I wanna count backwards. But if I'm trying to do 52 minus 49, I don't wanna to have to subtract, okay, uh, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44. Oh, I lost track, right? I don't have to line this up and borrow. I can say, well, how far apart are 52 and 49? Well, 50 is about in the middle, right? From 52, 51, 50, 49. They're three apart. So that's a difference of three. Right, we want to use both definitions, uh, whichever definition is going to be uh, more helpful for the particular situation. Right. So those are two basic definitions of subtraction, which is the inverse operation of addition uh, defined in each of these two other ways. So make sure you have these definitions written down and uh, we'll deal with adding and subtracting large numbers in other videos moving forward. The pro uh, proper techniques, dealing with place value and all of that.